Did you know that the Camilla Harris price hikes have cost the average family $28,000? That credit card debt is at an all-time high and that basically the prices of things have never been like this ever before. There's never been anything like it. If you want to bring the prices down, if you want to have a good life, vote for Trump. Listen, I'm sure that we all, all of us can use some relief to ooh, financially, man. Just telling y'all, bro, stuff is just outrageous. And it wasn't like this before your boy Biden took office with Kamala. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this is a time where I can confidently say we need Trump more than ever because Kamala Harris is trash. Uh, personal opinion. <laughs> Seriously, man, I don't see how anybody can see what's happening right now and go, yeah, man, we we got to get Kamala back up in this thing. You know what I mean? Can you imagine four more years of this? And it's only going to get worse. The country will simply be destroyed. Do y'all not understand that? Oh, man. I don't get it, dog. I don't get it. Uh, somebody said, uh, carry a nice white Chris handkerchief, please. What does that even mean? Uh, what? <laughs> huh? I don't I don't I don't even know what that means, guys. But any home moving on. Why is it Kamala? uh showing her face why isn't she out here doing any interviews why isn't she actually talking about policies just look at the policies what policies exactly that's what you're about to witness in this clip who are you gonna vote for trump do you have a preferred candidate i'm a strong republican it's not kamala why isn't it kamala just look at her policies what policies exactly you're not for trump are you for kamala well yeah what do you like about Kamala's policies? I haven't heard them really yet much, so I might change my mind. What issues are important to you as we head into November? You know, it's the same we see every day. The economy, the border. Inflation's up, taxes are up. Things were great when Trump was in office, and look what's happened. And now we have a vice president that's running for president, and we have no clear agenda of her of any of her policies who are you gonna vote for i love that interaction oh what, what policies what policies exactly <laughs> dude he snapped with that he don't know man that needs to be the mean that that right there nef definitely needs to uh be in the next campaign after donald trump uh man come on man y'all can't clearly see that kamala said a divide and conquer man she's a part of what um obama i mean uh yeah i said it right his fourth term trying to be at least he she's a part of what obama and biden has struck in america right here man uh, obviously that's stemming from a long line of deep state and uh Woo, you don't forget you got some rhinos too now. I ain't sitting here just saying everybody on the other side is perfect and nothing like that. But this guy went across, uh, look like he's in Walmart. It says the 2024 presidential election is going to be the largest landslide slide ever recorded in world history. Just watch this video. This is out in the real world, not on social media where bots can screw perceptions. And this is pretty eye opening. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala for president? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Who? Trump or Kamala? Oh. <laughs> Not Kamala. Excuse me, sir. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala? Huh? Trump or Kamala? Oh, Trump for sure. Trump or Kamala? Hmm. Trump. Trump or Kamala? Trump. Right. Trump or Kamala? How about if you stop doing that, please? Trump or Kamala? Trump. Trump or Kamala for president? Trump. Not a single person said Kamala yet. Trump or Kamala? What are you talking about? For president, Trump or Kamala? Kamala. Trump. You were the first person to say Kamala. Right, right. I don't really like her. Well, I don't care. What would you say Trump, to Trump? Trump's an asshole. He belongs in jail. What would you say to Trump if he was here right now? Trump or Kamala, guys. Trump. <laughs> Trump or Kamala for president. Trump. Somebody always got to bring violence into a simple question, bro. It's like, come on, dog. Y'all see what these lips be acting like? Uh, now, nah, I'm not just saying that because he was only odd one out of the group. I'm just saying it because of his odd response. It was pretty dramatic. 
He said he wanted to, he would 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 want to do a repeated assassination attempt. I'll just say it like that. But yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I, he, it was surprising. I didn't think he was gonna come out and say Kamala. I wasn't I wasn't expecting that. But he reacted just like a typical. Yeah, how do I say this? A typical Harris supporter would say, uh, I mean, would react. Word on the street is the guy Lowe's has been fired. Yeah, right. If anything, he's been fired. Uh, I mean, the other guy can't come in the store at all. He got a whole poster on the wall at Lowe's now because of the interaction. Somebody said, where is that location matters? Definitely. Somebody also says, dude, we know he has the numbers, but they control the machines. Your little interviews don't mean sh until we address the rot at the center of it all. Uh, the fraud period. Not definitely agree, but this video right here definitely needs more attention. According to Wall Street apes, uh, the Mexicans for Trump a uh, video highlights more than just driving home you need to vote uh, what what did uh, did i read this right uh this video needs more attention the mexicans for trump video highlights more than just driving home you need to vote america first okay it highlights the reality of our economy for real americans quote i'm over here effing stressing working 70 hours a week and still can't afford <laughs> wow let's check this out bro i'm just gonna put this out there I'm a Mexican who supports Trump, man. And for all you other guys who don't say he's a racist and stuff, all you guys are looking at the wrong reasons to hate this guy. You guys are voting for the president of America, not the president of Mexico, not the president of Europe, the president of America. He's looking out for the Americans. If you're not American, then I understand why you feel that way. But let's look at the obvious, guys. We need that guy in office. Things were way better, way cheaper. I'm over here stressing, working 70 hours a week and still can't afford shit. We're seeing it in every group. We're seeing Latinos for Trump. We're seeing blacks for Trump, women for Trump. We see Mexicans for Trump. Like We're seeing everybody for Trump, but I don't know if the Kamala Harris uh, administration is seeing that, uh, but I definitely see no lies detected. I, I couldn't find one lie, and I like this guy. You know, He's definitely right. <laughs> but working 70 hours a week and still can't afford the bare minimum? Yeah, that's that's pretty crazy, man. Can you? That's, that's insane, and another four years it is that's all i'm gonna keep saying welcome welcome to poverty right uh then we have this news story right here it says uh young illegal migrants living in taxpayer funded shelters are behind recent increases in robberies in central park surrounding their victims and using quote wolf pack force end quote to mug them the average age for these kids are 15. Food vendor in New York City, Alan Kemp, has seen it all, but lately he's even more watchful in Central Park. You know, I can't afford to get robbed, ripped off, mugged, stabbed. I heard that people are getting stabbed and I can't be, I can't afford to go through that, not at my age. His fear, a result of the recent increase in crime in the park, the most recent, a mugging Tuesday night near 62nd and West Drive. Assistant Chief Jason Savino says there have been 11 robberies in the park since June 27th, and he says eight of them are likely connected. You'll start to see like I described, the wolf pack. Savino says the suspects in these crimes are in large groups, what he calls wolf packs, like this mugging on August 1st. He says they take off with things like wallets, phones, and bags. So you could imagine the feeling, imagine the feeling of that individual, predominantly tourists or soft targets, sitting on a bench, and then ultimately being victimized by these wolf pack type robberies. It's tremendously concerning and it's a new phenomenon, not only to Central Park, but really to the area. He says many of the suspects in these crimes live in city run migrant shelters and their average age is just 15. Police arrested an 11 year old Tuesday night after he allegedly stole a phone from someone on the number seven train. Assistant Chief Savino says the same kid was seen on video using credit cards stolen during a robbery in Central Park. Although they're very young, you know, very impressionable, they do have a big influence on this group, you know, and that's something we haven't really read readily seen. Um, it, it's, it's one of the first times I've ever seen it in my career. This is just insane to say the least. The average age is 15. Uh, I am mean, also posted an 11 year old and 17 year old migrant were arrested after a subway rider in New York City was punched 
in the head and had his phone stolen during a violent robbery. The two suspects were caught just two late, uh, two hours later near the Roosevelt Hotel migrant shelter funded by taxpayer money. The border uh, czar Kamala Harris and her boss let these criminals in and now they are living off American taxpayer dollars. This is exactly what uh, America needs to see. This is what you show your Democrat fans right here. Seriously. Uh, somebody aka says yikes Kamala is responsible uh, only traders will help invaders look how much our tax money uh, of our tax money they give these criminals right here it says EBT wow so they spent $24 where's the remaining balance oh, okay EBT balance yep this is the receipt right here uh, with uh, over on uh, nearly thirteen hundred, I mean thirteen thousand five hundred dollars uh, in food stamps, and then you have on uh, nearly uh, forty five hundred <sighs> cash balance. That's crazy. This is a lot of money right here, guys. I uh, says, oh, I can't. Let me go and get off of the screen for somebody to get me to monetize. Now, before we transition into this next clip, I want to say that what we see and take place in America, what we're seeing take place in America is not funny. It's not a joke. It's not a game. And I don't think that um, it would be fair if I transition to this next clip without stating that. However, y'all know with this channel, I also like to provide a little bit of comic relief uh, in my videos. Obviously, politics is so serious all the time. Obviously, every single day, we're going to have devastating news. And that's not to belittle uh, any situation by no means. I'm just saying that to say <sighs> we need a lighthearted laugh every, you know, about uh, what's going on to keep from crying and get keep our minds off of what's really happening around us just from time to time. We all need a good laugh. We would agree uh, universally that that's healthy, whether you're on the left or the right of things. Uh, shout out to George for posting this. He said this guy talking about how Biden, uh, the Biden Harris regime's inflation has ruined his life and it is pure gold. Let's go ahead and check it out. How has inflation affected you? Me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I barely, I'm barely surviving. I, the people that have children, I don't know how they're surviving because me, I don't have any children. You get a drink and a meal and it's like $60, $70 for a meal and a drink, girl. Oh, even potato chips, mm -hmm. right? They, they, the same. They will reduce the number of potato. They'll just remove potato, right? So the ounces will go down, but the price will go up. Mm -hmm. You know, they'll just re replace potato with air. And the bag will look fat and heavy like before, but it's less product, wait, more but, price. But, but wait, air doesn't have any weight though. The one that they're putting in the bag has weight because why is this so fat and heavy like that? It has weight. They're manufacturing a very brand new version of, of air, very weighted air. It takes so much to fill up my car and like yeah. my groceries and everything like that. So this is all the things they're doing. Is the grid is too much. Always stressed out, uh, college prices going up, uh, oh, tuition. Before you know it, we buy potato chip, we open it and there'll be nothing inside. They say surprise, nothing. <laughs> right. So they, they have to do something about that. Now it's like I have to get a second job if I want to continue to have what I used to have. Because at some point, I wouldn't even, you know. So, so, so you, were, you were affected because of chips, the air in the bag. Yes, invariably, indirectly, but directly. I mean, come on, sometimes eggs are 4 or $5, right. you know, so. I know back in the day we used to shop at Aldi and we would get like, full groceries were maybe like 60 bucks. Now those same groceries are 90, $100 and it's ridiculous. So all these corporations are so greedy. So somebody, the government has to do something about it though. I did this. It looks so good. Thank you. But yeah, it used to be like, I don't know, like $25 and now they're like, oh yeah, 45. Not even clean tip. I paid 113 for my nails. Stop. And the, what, it's an S or what is this? It's poly gel. Poly gel? Yeah, but it's like, it's still too expensive. Uh-uh, see, no. It's not even only chips, everything. They drink, they will reduce the, the bottle, the, the size of the drink in the bottle, and, and they say, oh, it's because of design and all these things. What's they're, your favorite chip? They're scammer. I don't know, I like all of them. Oh, you eat a lot of chips, okay. No, not really, but I like, I'm not very picky like that. Okay. I like all of them. Which one do you like? I like barbecue chips. Oh. I don't know that one. I don't, I like, actually, no, I like just normal ones. I don't like all those, they, they put pimento cheese and they put, sometimes they, you have cheesecake flavor chip. Like, yeah. who's, who's eating all those things? It's very hard on everybody. I'm a senior, so it's a, on a fixed income, it's ridiculous. Mm -hmm. So even pen, 
that's how you have a full new pen. I was signing documents last week. Mm -hmm. By the time I signed my first name, before I got to my last name, the ink finished. Okay. What, you know? What was you signing? Uh, just uh, child support court order. <laughs> For me. For you say you don't have any kids. They say the boy look like me. I I, I don't know now. What the, I, they say he look like me. So maybe. I don't know. Okay. If he's my own or something. Okay. Well, maybe. So that's just... I don't know. The government has to do something. Because it, it's... Uh, how can they take the same product? They re re reduce it. Increase the price. And expect us to, to not do anything. They can't be doing like that now. Because everybody will just die. Everybody will just die. Let's just all just die now. Mm -hmm. We'll see who will come and be buying. We go, no one will go to the store. So they need to check all these companies and all this. Because the greed is too much. They can make money. There are ways to make money without uh, 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 putting me in limbo like that. Uh, hotels, when you go chicken, it should be 3 o'clock, but now it's 4 o'clock. What? That's yeah. crazy. Like, I just don't understand. It's just, I don't know. So you were affected by food? It, it affects everything. Okay. They, they call it what? Shrinkflation. They shrink it, shrink the product, increase the price. Do, do they think that we're goats or something? They can't be treating us like that, you know? Okay. So maybe talk to the government or somebody, something. Okay, I will. Where is this thing going? This this video? It's gonna, it's okay. It's gonna go on social media. On me, okay. Well, the media, people will see it. All the media people. Because all these things, I don't know again. But <laughs> now, see my... This man said that it has weights. <laughs> <laughs> He said that they're manufacturing a very brand new type of air. It's weighted air. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Oh, you got to laugh to keep from crying, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. That's basically the TikTok thing um, uh, Trump has been saying. <laughs> Somebody just wrote right here. Somebody also said the problem is the Democrats are now saying they will de dictate prices for the greedy companies. This is exactly uh, what Venezuela did. I don't know anything about that particularly myself, but yeah, look at the little Debbie snacks. The size of them half or half what they used to be look at me we just we just greedy or are they just greedy which one is it